I'm pleased to be joined by 2024 Texas Christian quarterback commit, Hoss Haney. Hoss, how you doing? I'm doing great. Just happy to be able to be on the show. So excited. Well, man, I'm excited to have you because, number one, I, I love a quarterback that can get up and go, right? And sure. I understand that's the calling card right away for you. So let's let's start with that. You always been fast? I've been fast since I came out of the womb. I mean, when my mom had me, she was obviously in college. So, you know, those genetics were real fresh like when, when I was born. So, you know, ever since I put the pads on or the flags on, first of all, you know, we're in running around the bases, I was always fast. So, I mean, I, I'm, I was fast ever since I can remember. Goodness. So you've been fast ever since you can remember. And, and we got we got dad over to your left over there. Dad, poke your head in over here. Say hi. What's up? <laughs> right. Well, I mean, stay in here because, I, I mean, we'll include, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, let, I'm going to take it back to start for a second here. I'm educating people, all right? It's not just that you're fast, you run 10-6. It's also that your name is Hoss, okay? And it Hoss is. Haney. So, uh, Dad, I'm going to throw this to you. How did you get past Mom naming him Hoss? Let me tell you something. I married, I married up big time. Uh, she was a hoss of an athlete herself, grew up in the Western world, um, multiple sport athletes. She ran track and played basketball TC, so way better athlete than I was. She just understood it. She just, she just got it. And, uh, you know, my very first Pee Wee football coach, um, when I was little, I played middle linebacker and I played quarterback. And so I called the plays on defense, called them on offense. And uh, he used to put his arm around me and called me hoss. And I felt like I was 12 feet tall. So again, that's that's where it came from. Goodness, and it's kind of it's already got me into trouble because I, I I've been texting with your hoss and and now it auto corrects in my phone because it used to be H O S S in my phone, you know. Now it's H A U S S. So yeah, I already got that going on. So I can't wait to see what all goes on when you get to Texas Christian. But let's start with that. Why did you decide to commit to Texas Christian? Well, obviously, I mean, both my parents went to TCU and I've grown up around it my whole life. And, you know, I grew up in the training room when I was, you know, a couple months, a couple weeks old. I mean, the trainers, my babysitters, I grew up chewing on mouthpieces, getting my ankles taped by all the trainers. So I just bleed purple and, you know, I'm biased, obviously. You know, TCU's always been my dream school and you know, I've worked my whole life to be able to put myself in a position, you know, hopefully one day play at TCU. You know, obviously, I was obviously going to look at other schools and stuff and, you know, find the best place for me. But at the end of the day, I, I looked at all the options I had available, but, um, you know, TCU ended up being the best fit for me. Coach Bryles, uh, Coach Dykes, love both of those coaches and I want to play for them. So, um, and another thing is, you know, I got my senior season ahead of me and I felt comfortable with TCU and I'm going to feel comfortable with TCU throughout this process. And, you know, I just wanted to get that out of the way so I can focus on my team that I'm on right now. And, you know, go through my summer workouts and just not worry about the recruiting thing, going on business and stuff like that. And just focus on right here, right now. And, you know, have a good, have a good senior season. Well, taking it back to that junior season, which was pretty doggone good. I might add, it felt like you were in lockstep with Texas Christian there. You were winning. They were winning. Uh, obviously you end up with belt, but they come up just a little bit short. Uh, what'd you think about Texas Christian and their 2022 season, which I don't mind saying is the best season in Texas Christian history. I don't give a good damn about the 13 and 0, right? It's last year you played for the Nash Championship. You're pretty doggone good. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, it, going back to, you know, us going belt and belt, you know, it's probably like my dad's favorite sports season of all time because, you know, <laughs> obviously TCU does well and his son's first year starting the quarterback, you know, um, us winning the state championship and them obviously going to the, um, the national championship. Um, it, it, it was surreal to see it, you know, me obviously playing, you know, then TCU obviously doing good. Um, you know, especially for Coach Dykes in his first season um, at TCU to be able to, you know, do what he did. I and mean, that's just props to, you know, his amount of, you know, hard work and, you know, just keeping his nose nose to the stone and keep going. And um, especially for the, for the players to go from one coaching staff to the other, to just have trust in the coaching staff. It just props to, you know, his, um, I don't know, how he, you know, presented himself to the players. They obviously bought into what, he had to say when he first stepped into the to the position. So it was awesome to see. I don't think we're going to see a turnaround like that ever again from five and seven to playing in the oh. national title game. Uh, it would be rare. 
Yeah, even without winning the Big 12 championship, which I was I was amazed to see the college football playoff selection committee still thought that highly of mm-hmm. Texas Christian. That's that's usually the Oklahoma play, right? Is you get in there on the strength of who you are, and obviously they respect what Texas Christian is. So knowing that, you're going into the summer a rising senior, right? And you also got to compete at Elite 11 where you turn some heads. What was it like for you to match up against what is the best of the best among this nation in the 2024 class of quarterback? I mean, it went as expected. I knew I was going to go in there and there was going to be a bunch of, you know, it was the top 20 quarterbacks in the nation, hands down. I mean, I want to say hands down, but it was definitely, you know, I would say the best quarterbacks in the nation. Hey, country. I say hands down. How about that? <laughs> it, it was hands down the best quarterbacks in the country. But um, it, it was a great experience. You know, you, you come in there, you see all these dudes on social media and you don't know how they are as a person. It was just good to get to know them and just be around the, be around the guys that are in similar positions as you, you know, that have gone through this tough quarterback recruiting process and, you know, to get there to go out on the field and, you know, throw it around with them and just have fun. I mean, it was just a fun deal. It wasn't like a stressful thing at all. I mean, yeah, you wanted to, you know, compete and do your best and, you know, show what you're made of, but um, it was cool just to go out there and hang out and um, just soak it all in. So, yeah. Well, you grow up a TCU fan, right? You grow up a Horned Frog and you've seen all of this attention get paid to Texas Christian. I want to say for the first time since maybe 2010, when you had Andy Dalton and Coach Patterson doing what they were doing, how have people changed treating you, knowing that you were a quarterback commit to Texas Christian following national title runner-up season? So I've never been. I mean, I try not to think about how people have treated me. You know, mm-hmm. being committed to TCU. I mean, I don't want to like boast myself, like think of myself as you know I'm committed to TCU. I'm just hoss that's, you know, going to be friendly to people and, you know, you know, you know, just be humble. So I, I really don't recognize when people treat me differently. Obviously, people come up to me, you know, like, oh, you're, committed, you're the quarterback committed to TCU. You know, I, I just try and be nice to kids because, I mean, obviously the kids at Alito, they know, like, oh, hoss, you're committed to TCU. They're going to come up to you and be like, oh, you know, what's this like? What's this like? Uh, you're so cool. Like, you know, how did you do it? And um, I want to be like you one day. So. I just try to be in the moment and, um, you know, be as friendly as I can and um, just have a smile on my face when I'm around people that, you know, know who I am, obviously. So, yeah. Well, you are doing this interview from a facility that your pops there helped, well, I guess, built himself, right? Tell me about this place where you guys are working out. So, my dad, he's, I, I couldn't even tell you what, how, how long he's been, like, you know, wanting to build this facility. He's been wanting to do it for shoot i would say his whole his whole ever since he could think of building an indoor facility at his house um but uh it's it's got it's got 20 yards of indoor and then 20 yards outside so it's 50 yards full um this, we got a little barn door that like opens up it's got like hydraulics on it so you can do it inside and outside um we're, we're in a little conference room right here and uh, you got like a little kitchenette and you know little table in the middle and you got he's, he's got his office over here and you got a bedroom over here it's kind of like a hotel style i would say it's where mac jones stayed last week and when he came down to throw we had okay mac okay we had a little, little quarterback camp and you know, there's a weight room downstairs you can do anything you want down there you got a cold plunge downstairs a sauna downstairs and we have a full-time physical therapist that does physical therapy downstairs and his and hers bathroom you know showers and stuff and Got a basketball court, pickleball court, and then got a little hidden tunnel over there. I mean, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a man's a man's dream, I would say. And my dad, my dad, said, I'm gonna build dad, it. it doesn't look like you have any uh, giving him any reason to leave over there. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like you got it all there in one go. <laughs> Man, it was hey, it's been a labor of love. We've enjoyed it. We, I enjoyed the process. It was fun, um, and uh, we're already getting to enjoy it a ton just because. Like I coach my middle son's, uh, you know, baseball team and we come out here and we've had to have practice. I mean, everybody in North Texas, the weather's so, you know, it, it, it can it can change a ton, as we all know. And everybody's looking for turf and a roof. And, man, I just kind of try to combine both worlds because, you know, I have, you know, I, I need an office for myself to, to take care of business. And then yeah, I'd love to just be able to have an area that I can enjoy. People can enjoy. Haas is already been able to bring teammates over here and get physical therapy. And um, and hang out and have a good time. We had a little football camp here last week. Haas and Mac Jones, they've trained together since they're in eighth grade. And, you know, he get, came and stayed with us. And I always visualize, I'm like, man, when these guys come to town and train with you, 
and do different things, it'd be funner to have them here rather than, than having to get a hotel. So I don't know. It's just uh, I Googled it every way I could Google it, sports barn, and uh, I couldn't find the blueprint for it. So what we created, I think, is one of a kind. There might be other ones out there, but I couldn't find them on the Internet. Otherwise, I'd rip those plans off if I could, but I didn't. <laughs> Well, it sounds like you did one hell of a good job. I mean, I'm just listening to you talk about it and seeing what we see there. I'm terribly impressed. Uh, Haas, Dad mentioned Mac Jones a couple times there and that you guys have been training together. If anything, what have you learned from a dude that won a national championship at Alabama and went in the first round to New England Patriots? You know, it's, there's, really, there's only a few factors that, you know, like separate – you know, the good college players from the great college players, you know, the NFL QBs. I mean, everyone, everyone's human. You know, he's just, he's just a normal dude. That's what I've realized throughout this process is all these high level quarterbacks are, they're just normal kids. I mean, he's, he's 25 years old, just fresh out of college, <laughs> just, just bought a house. You know, he, it just takes another, another level of work ethic and focus and attention to detail. And he has all three of those things when it comes to his film study you know, the way he takes care of his body, which he's had to work on because he didn't have the good habits. And, you know, he's, he's honed in on that. And those are really the three main things is what I've learned from him. I mean, it takes another level of focus. He's probably learned the most in the film room from him. He, yeah, he, yeah. He, I've learned a lot. You know, I've been able to sit in the, in the film room with him and, you know, pick his brain and just, you know, I've just seen what he, what he knows knowledge-wise. He, he knows a lot about the game. And it's it's been good just to, you know, learn from him and see what he knows. And which just gives me a skill of like what I got, what I really got to improve on, which is, you know, my, my, my mental part of the game and, you know, really digging into the film and you know, just making the game come slower and easier. So, yeah. Well, I'm giddy about that. Cause that's a man that got to learn from Bill O'Brien He's going to have Bill O'Brien a second time. Lord sure. knows what rubbed off about Steve Sarkeesian and a guy that was a late bloomer, right. Uh, yeah. Wasn't the biggest guy in the world. Then he gets to yeah. Alabama and he wins a job nobody thought he could win, and he leads them to a NAF championship in a plague year. You know, that's dream stuff gotcha. there. Uh, Haas, man, we running up on time. I, I'm having such a great time talking to you, but this is what we got, dog. Uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Is that okay? That's great. That's great, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Haas Haney, thank you so much for taking time to join us here on the number one college football show. Dad, you've done a great job. Let me say so on the record right here, right now. Thank you so much for allowing us to speak with your son. Thank you very much. We appreciate you having us on. I appreciate you making the time for this. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.